the 2006 Torino Olympic Games Large Hill Ski Jump Pair. Which team will win this historic gold medal? With six teams remaining, it's anybody's ski jump. I'm your commentator, Bill Roundtree, with our guest, Francis Ireland. Hello, Bill. The Kaurus Mackey twins from Finland lead off the competition. Their parents run a popular bakery in their fine land. And here it is, our first takeoff. And here's the totem. Now that's high. It's getting higher, higher and higher, landing firmly on the K-point, beautiful landing. The world's best totem by the Baker Boys. They baked that one golden, eh? Wrap it up, I'll take it. Their back line and chest curve both look perfect. Perfection in motion. They'll score high for flight points, too. The Kaurismäki brothers from Finland have jumped to the top. A light kiss. Oh, those Sydney boys. Australia mates Alburn and Armstrong. And here's the approach. Be on the lookout for their original V4. Here's the takeoff. Oh, it's the koala. Hug me, squeeze me, and hold me tight. They're way beyond the key point. The idol jumpers from Oz. What is it about gay men in spandex? More aerodynamic, Bill? Their performance uses an animal motif. Very soothing indeed. A real looking koala. The breeze smells of eucalyptus. Here's a score. Second, just behind the leaders, the spandex boys from the land down under. Here's Germany. Ranked number one in the world, and the leaders after one run. The German emperors, Stefan Bietholz and Marin Huck. The approach. What's it gonna be? Drop. Oh, it's the eagle. An imperial eagle. How far can they go? Oh my! It's too late now. The eagle has landed. What an unexpected tragedy. Yes, it is. Here we have the replay. Stretching the suit, keeping his head down. And here! His feet loses it, and he falls. They were getting too ambitious there. After all, they are Germans. What can you expect? While the course undergoes maintenance after that terrible fall, let's check the standings. With the Kawasmaki brothers on top, Alborn and Armstrong hold second. Third are the Austrians Goldberger and Horungar. Fourth place is Russia, while Britain is fifth. Let's take a look at the jumps from Austria, Russia and Britain. All eyes are on this pair in their peach pink jumpsuits. The Key Brothers from Great Britain. Be on the lookout for sheer elegance and a new embracing technique. Take off the princess. Oh, how's that for romance? Royal Milk Tea. No, it's Earl Grey. And a shagadelic landing. God save the queen. Here's the replay. He gently covers him up. Note the smooth head motion. Those boys. Is that love I see in your eyes? My heart is pounding. Romance and afternoon tea. Kiss me tenderly, follow me. Ain't love the best. Next up, the Russian veterans of the tundra. Kobarev and Boginskaya. These fishermen in the summer are never without a bottle of vodka. The approach. We may see an eagle variation here. Take off the pelican. Shake, rattle, and roll. My word, he really pulled that landing out of his hat. There's nothing fishy about this seagull. <laughs> Look at him dangle and the replay. He plops him down, a wandering bird's eye view, a vacant stare, and a drunken red nose. That's the vodka talking. It must be the vodka. Babushka. Yes, Natasha. The Austrians, Goldberger and Hollinger. These boys are household names. They promise nothing but the best with their Dr. Twin V. Take off a lovely Twin V. Their flight is right on track. Yeah, but uh, what's this? What the? Whoops. He landed on his head. Did he crash? Look, the man is twitching. Is he going to be okay there, Frankie? Well, I don't know, but uh, now look here. Cool, indeed. And the replay? 
Your standard flight pattern? Yeah, but right here he goes off course. Now that's what I call using your head. What'd you think of those replays? Personally, I really like the head landing. After the fall of Berlin, it's anybody's medal. Next is Norway. Christian Ingebrigtsen has made a great comeback after four years of hardship. His partner is the same from four years ago. Look at this go, Jesus! Praise the Lord, it's a flying church. Do you believe in the power of Jesus? Amen! An almighty land. Christian Ingebrigtsen, a miracle resurrection after his incident. I hear that many of their flock are here today. I saw you getting a little up close and personal with the big JC. Well, the power of the Spirit really moved me. Smile, almighty Jesus, a perfect performance. It's America. They always have something up their sleeve. And a rocket in their pants. From the acrobatic haven of California, here's Jeff Yakely and Tyler Arthurs. What's this? The Titanic! Huh? No! 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 Landing! The front man has slipped under the skis. The Americans, unpredictable as ever, telemarketing on the front jumper. A perfect telemark. A risky formation. I'd like to see Leonardo DiCaprio do that. Let's see what the judges think about it. Here we go. America is on top. And so was Tyler on Jeff. And finally, Japan. With the backs against the wall, it's Kazuhiko Oishi and Michinoto Harada. Will we see the Super V? They don't have any choice. They split. The Super V! Very high and wide, even wider than before. Coming in for the landing. Perfect! A great jump for Japan, and a lovely landing. Ooh, that's strange. You see something there. Mm. We can expect high points here. And the replay. What was that? I do see something, and it's Harada's nephew. Well, if it's a nephew, what can you say? The nephew nets the gold medal. Harada and Oishi strike gold with their Super V. A gold medal for the Super V. Banzai! Banzai! Happy New Year everyone, and with it comes a new season for ski jumping pairs. These events have become even more exciting since last year's Olympics and the revolutionary nephew jump. It's New Year's Day 2007 here in Nagano, and the medalists from Torino have gathered for this special jump session. The New Year's jumps will be from the three medal-winning pairs from Finland, America and Japan. Their amazing jumps are coming up soon. I'm your commentator, Bill Roundtree, telling you like it is, with our guest and the president of the Ski Jump Pairs Association, Francis Ireland. Hello everyone. The first jump of this year is Jeff Yakely and Tyler Otters from America, who took the silver medal with their miraculous Armageddon jump in Torino. Yes, they snatched it perfectly. I hear that they've been making secret training trips to Japan to develop their new techniques. They've become devout Buddhists as well. Um, take off. It's the Buddha. The praying Tyler drops Jeff in midair. Nice catch, strike three, the banner's out. The American pair apparently drank far too much champagne at last night's opening party celebrations, presenting an excellent jump. Tyler on Jeff. Let's replay. His neck movement is truly impressive. But that's not really the movement of Buddhism, is it? No, none at all. What the hell have they been learning in Japan? The only Japanese they've learnt is give me a meal, a bath, and some change. Unenlightened Tyler on the Jeff. 
Well, the next faces are the Torino bronze medalists, the Karasmaki brothers from Finland. Famous as real Japanophiles, they have apparently bought a Japanese rice cooker as a present for their parents' bakery. They'll combine their totem jump with a New Year's present ball to the Japanese fans. Sounds exciting. I can hardly wait. And here we go. Whoops. The ball has come out. Is that okay? Talk about dropping the ball. What the hell is he doing? Is that part of their performance? Take off. Kitties, don't try this at home. The ball is flying away more than they expected. Flying away, still flying, and it's landed. The ball is skiing past the crowd. And the replay. What a mistake by the Karasmaki brothers. He dropped the ball here and tried to follow it, but then slipped on the approach. All the other brother could do was watch from the top of the slope. What an unexpected solitary journey for the Karasmaki brother. What a shame. And there it is, in the air. And it's the ball. In the air. Flying. Just a ball. Flying. Well, we like to expect a good ending. The last pair are Oishi and Harada, the gold medalists. Big support from the home crowd. Harada's nephew, Yohei, is now internationally famous as the super nephew from Torino. Do you think they'll jump with him this time, Frankie? He's just started kindergarten. And here we go. The approach. Tang off, Super V, flying high. Still flying, flying on and on. Where are they going? And they've landed. And a beautiful landing at that. Accurate flight technique, a fantastic journey. What did they fly with this time? We'll see it in the replay. Wishing you all a flying Super V. Happy New Year. Graceful calligraphy appears in the sky. How about that for a Happy New Year, Frankie? They've done great. A jumping New Year. Francis, is that a tear in your eye? Bill Roundtree and... Frank Ireland here. Wishing, wishing you all a Happy New Year. New Year. God, God bless. Hello. And a warm welcome to the flying test trials for the latest techniques in ski jumping pairs. Recently, competitors from all over the world have been practicing many eye-catching and original jump styles. The Ski Jumping Pairs Committee has also selected and commissioned eight new jump ideas submitted by members of our global audience with the aim to reach the peak of sporting excellence. Today we'll see the world's top pairs give their premier performances of the eight highest rated new jump techniques. Coming to you live from the Hakaba Jump Hill in Nagano, Japan, I'm your commentator, Big Bill Roundtree, and I'm joined by our special guest, Frances Ireland, president of the Ski Jump Pair Committee. Good day, Bill. The first jump was proposed by Mr. J.R. Hagman, an actor from Dallas. Test jumpers are the supreme American acrobatic dudes of Jeff Yeakley and Tyler Atos. They have truly wonderful skills. They've taken a rear ski separated style for this most challenging of jumps. Take off. They've gone straight into a rodeo position. Nice cowboy. Yeehaw, yeah. A great landing as well. Jeff is a bucking bronco. And what an exciting way to stop. The horny Texan is really playing up to their fans. Replay? Such thrusting hips, they're showing their true grit. You know, these guys really don't get along off the hill. Jeff soars and throws off Tyler the Cowboy, as if to say, no more horsing around, partner. Texas Rodeo with thick grilled steaks. The Lone Star State. George Bush, the death penalty. Yeehaw! Sorry, I was getting a bit carried away there. Next is a therapy type jump devised by Mrs. Sandy Bondi from Sydney. The test jumpers are Alburn and Armstrong, the Australian super special pair. They are second to none in the healing jump style. Their koala jump from Torino is now legendary. Many fans are keeping a very close watch on them. And here's the approach. 
and the takeoff. He's sliding in like a baby roo. Is he being soothed inside his ma's pouch? A soft landing too. With the usual shake. A mother's tender shake. He slips the front jumper in gently. A wonderful nurturing move. He's really fostering that roo. Alborn is peeping around from the pouch. What a truly peaceful moment in sports. Our hearts are melting. Exactly. This is jumping therapy at its finest. We cannot help but be relieved. And we have two local high schoolers from Nagano. With a flair for architecture, these two modern lads were selected from a wide range of boys for their sense of balance. Expect a newly constructed jump style here, Bill. And the approach. What will become of the two lads? Take off. Standing two stories tall, it's the Maisonette. Ooh, the rear jumper holds a roomy love space. Wonderful individuality in a confined space. Japanese housing at its finest. And surprisingly spacious. With hardwood flooring and refurbished wallpaper. And a nice view, too. Storage space galore, complete with a walk-in closet and two-car garage. It's all you ever wanted in a Maisonette. Contact your local realtor. With their depressing defeat at the last Olympic, the boys from Germany promised to bring home the gold for the fatherland. What will become of... Oh! Ow! What's happening here? That's uh, an interesting approach. And a roll followed by a roll. Oh, but it's being chased! He could... Oh! oh! Excellent, Eagle! No! Oh! No! After all, they are Germans. The eagle almost landed there, Bill, but my, my, I've never seen anything like it in all my years in ski jumping. Definitely a depressing moment it in sporting really history. It really was a travesty. But look at this. Excellent catch. Almost a perfect eagle. What is with the German team? How about this for a new perestroika plan? These boys are fishermen in the summer. But they lost their boat in a storm. Tanked up on vodka, they're raring to go. Take off, Cossack, Cossack, da, da, da. Cossack, Cossack, da, da, da. I can hear the balalaika strumming. Cossack, Cossack, da da da. Cossack, Cossack, a da da da. A Cossack, a Cossack, a da da da. Where are they going? And the replay. The world's most elegant dance. From Russia with love. A sockling step through the rolling tundra, dancing the night away in the light permafrost. Here's another American pair Andy Thomas and Hiroshi Adrian. They'll need speed and power to beat that Cossack performance. The approach. Take off. It's Rocky Balboa. Show us what you got, kid. Adrian! Rocky doesn't need money, fame, or steroids. Just muscle and training. You know, Bill, this jump really packs a punch. Rocky 1. Rocky 2. Rocky 3. Rocky four, Rocky five. Rocking and rocking and rocking the night away, it's Rocky Balboa. Here we have the first ever African pair. The test jumpers are Tokyo University exchange students, Hami Ganke and Kui Shinbare. I hear they're planning a surprise. Take off. Whoa, get a mouthful of that, Bill. Bite me, Francis. Bite me, Bill. With no motif to their performance, the Africans let their pearly whites do the talking. The replay? And straight up into the garb. Remember that chewing is good for your health. What a grip. An oral union of tooth and ski. The novice jumpers really cut their teeth on that one, Frankie. So now to the final jump. The test jumpers are Japanese ace pair, Oishi and Harada. They always do their best for the kiddies out there. Very soon, that nationally popular character is going to be flying across your screen. Take off! 
Ace twisting and a spinning bamboo copter. Spinning and rotating more and more over the K-point and... Whoa! An amazing sharp ascent. The kids are going wild! And they're still soaring high, high, high into the Huckabus sky. They haven't landed yet. Let's see that replay. There they are, spinning away, spinning incredibly. That's unusual. The Dora jumper is also in rotation. They're both spinning away, Dora and his bamboo copter as well. Dora has a special kind of magic. This just in, their landing has now been confirmed. A cat-like robot that comes from the future and shows children an amazing new world. La, 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 we love you best of all. Dora! Let's go. 